think, speaking of thought experiments, I always had this, this, um, this vision of you know, you know, the, uh, the, a taste test type of thing, where if you put these teams that we all put up on a pedestal as the greatest in the world, and if you put them in a, um, on a field, but you didn't see any of the players in terms of what they looked like or any of the colors, they were just X's and O's, and you played the game and you had to determine which team it was that was playing simply by the movements on the field, how many people could actually do that? Um, and I, I think it would be very, very difficult to people. So we bring all of our bias, all of our baggage, and all of that color and all the optics into the calculation when we are talking about these things. And look, it, it's, it's fun. It generates a lot of discussion, which I think is important. And you know, from an MLS perspective, I, it puts them into a conversation, even if people are incredulous about it, it puts them into a conversation that MLS has to defend themselves relative to something like that. But I like the fact that they're in the same conversation, because for a lot of people, they don't, to your point, see MLS even close to that level. It's either out of sight, out of mind, and therefore they don't even know what's happening with MLS, but they just automatically uh, push it down and don't believe that there's quality out there. Or the people that are into MLS, they again have this inferiority complex when it comes to their sport, and you have to talk about all the different things that I talked about in terms of the unique and very different aspects of the game uh, that go on in MLS that don't go on in other places.